It's a dandy fish there. All right, I'm going to head down to the river. There's a little trail that goes down from here. Um, I'm going to take my rod and net and my Dora bucket, Dora the Explorer bucket. Let's take a quick little look and see what I got in Dora here. In my Dora bucket. Of course, Dora always has everything she needs. I have a stringer. The carabiner on it. You can stick this through their gills. Loop on this end. And the first fish and the rest just go on there. Got a knife in case I get something out to play. I got my bag in here. It's got extra hooks and weights in there. Got a wrist guard. A knife sharpener. And then this little thing makes it so you can fillet fish and they don't scoot around on there. So I can keep that in my door or bucket. And so um, I'm going to head down and see if we can catch it. That's a big fish. What I like to do is get them up above me and then you can let the slack off and they come back to you. That is a behemoth. That is a dandy sockeye right there. It's about as big as they get. It feels like a big fish. He hasn't really come to the surface that I've seen. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. That's a dandy fish. Get him above me and I'll net him coming down. It's a flock of seagulls. Today. That is number three. I've been sitting here for quite a while and the guy below me is just killing them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just flailing the water. And I kept watching him, watching him going, what are you doing different than me? I think he had more weight on than I did. So I just put more weight on, two casts later, boom.
Boy, that's a nice one there. That's a pink salmon there. My harpoon is not very sharp, but I'm going to continue on for just a little bit longer. That's a nice stock eye there. Look like he maybe has spots on him, I don't know. I'm always err on the side of caution. that current. It'll be a tough day. there. One more and we're done. Turn the turbocharger. Okay, so we're at a flay table and they got a bucket with a rope on it. We're sort this bucket down to get water, which is kind of nice. All right, nice thing about these is it's just right at a nice height, you don't hurt your back. This will be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do this task. Okay, so I'm using Dora 
to put my fillets in and I'll carry everything else. That'll just make it easy. So task completed. We'll see you back up. Well, we got it done. Um, there's a fair amount of fish in the river, so that makes it easier. I struggled with this in the beginning. I I got lucky and picked up picked up a couple fish, and then it just went into a slump. And um, I was looking around, and the guy below me was just whacking them. And so I got to looking at what he was doing, and he had on just a little bit more weight than I did, is what it looked like. As soon as I switched to more weight, um, life got a lot better for me. So that's one of the things that I talk about in my How to Catch Sockeye video, is adjusting your weight and making sure you have the right amount of weight. If you have the right amount of weight, life's going to get easy. If you don't have the right amount of weight, you'll stand there all day long. So, um... This concludes a fantastic day. Okay, so I'm sitting in the back of my truck. It's been raining like crazy. It just let up. Take a look outside here. Um, I'm going to try this chicken flavored noodle soup. The directions are the same as the last thing. It says four cups of water. So I only used half of the contents in my bowl. And... Um, I'll put some water in it and leave it for 12 minutes, and then it should be done. We'll take a look at it when it's done. Okay, so I got my chicken noodle soup here. It's been probably about 12 minutes. Kind of looks like chicken noodle soup. I like the spirals. I would say that's pretty edible. Um, I used about half of this, and just like the last one, I'll finish that ha that other half. So that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to have the vanilla pudding, and this is the container it came in. And there's no directions whatsoever for it. And so I'm going to pretend like it's exactly the same as all the other stuff and assume that if I do half a package and fill my bowl all the way up, it'll be just right. Don't really know, but we'll see. So I'm going to stir it up and then we'll look at it in 10 minutes because that's what we did with everything else. So one thing I'm finding out about this is that you know, nobody wants uh, lumps in their pudding. And so I've been stirring it constantly for about three minutes to try to smush the lumps on the bottom. And it is getting better, but I think I'm gonna have some lumpy pudding. So we'll just have to see how that turns out. Okay, it's raining pretty good outside. This has been sitting here for about 10 minutes. This is that vanilla pudding. I stirred it up the best that I could. You can see it's, you can kind of see that there's some lumps in there. I wasn't really wanting tapioca pudding. Let's try it out. I would say it's okay. I personally like my pudding to be cold. And so that's different for me. But the flavor isn't bad. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look online at this, um, this stuff and find the directions for the vanilla pudding and see if there's a different way you're supposed to do it. Maybe there's even a sheet in here somewhere. Um, that has better directions. I'll have to look through that. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, it's edible. But I wouldn't say uh, I'd wait in line for it.